All right, we're checking in with the Alzheimer's Association of Northwest Ohio, and they've got some new facts and figures for the year. And joining us today to tell us more, she is the program manager at the Alzheimer's Association, Mary Beth Dressel, and thanks for coming. Right, thank you for having me. Okay, so these are kind of like hot off the press, fresh, fresh, fresh facts and yes. figures. And so what is it the Alzheimer's Association was looking at and, and wants to get the word out about? Well, we definitely wanted to look at, you know, what the rates of Alzheimer's. And so we know the rates for, you know, nationwide, like 7 million people over the age of 65 have Alzheimer's. Um, and 11% of Ohio's population has Alzheimer's. That seems which high. It seems very high, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. There's about 2,000... 236,000 people in Ohio living with Alzheimer's. So they looked at that. They looked at, um, you know, what is what is stressing out caregivers the most. Like mm -hmm. that's really a big focus of the report this this time was what do caregivers, how do they feel, and uh, how can we as the association then help them deal with their stress? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Because it is a family thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't you see that with Alzheimer's? Yes. You, you have the person that has it, but everyone else in the family and caregivers, they're, they kind of have it too in a way. Yep, and I know, I, I think every time I come on here, I talk about how stressful caregiving it is because it, it truly is. You've got, you know, the person that has the disease and then you've got their caregiver who is usually a little bit older themselves. And in fact, it, it says 70% um, report that they're stressed because they also, 63%, have chronic conditions themselves. So they're, you know, dealing with their own health issues and then trying to care for somebody with this disease. Yeah, so, and it, and it must be costly too to take care of, of Alzheimer's patient and, you know, you probably can't work as much if you were working and that kind of thing. Yeah, and a lot of times we're seeing younger and younger people being diagnosed so then they have to, they have to retire or stop working and the, but the caregiver has to continue. So it is very stressful. The cost of the disease itself is stressful because of how long the disease lasts oh, so yeah. that those costs all add up yeah there I guess you got top top five stressors that they found from caregivers let's, yep. let's do the top five yep so cost is the first one 42 percent of them report the cost because you know they they're on a fixed income or you know they just they can't work so then they, right. they have you know that so then 36% um, um, say that just the coordinating with the multiple doctors that they had to deal with mm -hmm. you know trying to get appointments and coordinating all of that care is very stressful and securing appointments I mean you can call the doctor and you might have to wait two three months to get an appointment and yeah, it's not stressful. always it's not always good to make somebody wait that long mm -hmm. um, but the biggest I think a big chunk is just needing a break you know they don't get a break there with their loved one constantly um, and you know, while people people tend to shy away from somebody who has Alzheimer's, I don't they they don't feel comfortable talking to them, or they're not sure how to talk to them. So the disease is very isolating for mm -hmm. the caregivers because they a lot of times they can't get help. Right. So and then finding the right doctor yeah, is stressful, that stressful too. too. Yep. So we know that there's all this stress, and then they need to reach out. So Alzheimer's Association does have some things for caregivers to do, right? Like helplines and things like that. Yeah, the, the one of my favorite things is our 24/7 helpline. You know, they can call anytime, and a person is there to speak to them. You know, like at 3 a.m. is when my brain clicks on when I'm stressed about something, and I could call and talk to somebody, which is I think that's great. Um, and we have care consultations where I um, can work meet with family members of somebody that's going through, you know, the caregiving process and just kind of walk them through situations that they have, tips on how to deal with certain behaviors. Um, we have education programs and support groups. I highly recommend anybody that is caring for somebody with this disease to attend a support group. And we have three in Allen County. All right. Yeah, because you've realized that and had yep. you're trying and those three in Allen County I assume meet at different times and yep. stuff. So try to fit people's schedule when you can. Yeah, tonight at seven, the first Tuesday of every month is at Lima at um, Kessler Estates. And then we have a new one starting next Tuesday at Bradfield, Bradfield. who we were on last time. Oh, yeah. And then we have the last Monday of the month in Bluffton. All right, so there are options out there. Yep. So it's it's eye opening to hear these numbers. So thank you very yes. much for sharing with thank us you. today. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.